oh yeah, this one is, uh, now if you run the app, the search bar, when you type, it doesn't work. Uh, it's, I'm using a publisher here. And uh, when you load the app for the first time, it actually emit an empty string value. But now when you type, it doesn't emit anymore. So I don't know why. We didn't meet this first keyword here. The first one, yeah. Empty string. Oh, what is this? A search bar text field. And it's using the publisher for text, which means every time this text changes, you want to get a a new value, right? Yes. The problem is that this text field here is a UI search text field, which is a UI text field, which is a UI control. So the way this publisher works, every NS object has this publisher. It's an extension on NS object. And the way it works is you can observe a property of any NS object as long as this NS object triggers KVO events. You know KVO, key value observation? Yeah. KVO. The problem is that UI controls do not emit KVO events when their properties change. This is something that UIKit never did. And they want you to actually use the delegates, right? So that if you want to get an event from a UI control, you usually use the target action pattern or they provide you a delegate. Like a text field has a text field delegate where you listen to changes, right? So KVO doesn't work on UI control. And thus, this automatic publisher you get for a property also doesn't work. <laughs> I see. So this will not work on UI controls, but there's something else you can do. So text fields or other UI controls usually provide target action. So let's add target for a specific action, right? Like editing events. It also provides you a delegate where you can set another class to listen to events. That could be self and every time there's a change here. And it also triggers why it is a search feed text field. They also trigger notification events. And notification center the default also provides a publisher for listening to notifications. <laughs> okay. So you can listen for search text fields, text did change. And you can pass an object to say, I. You know, you can have many text fields in your application. You don't want to listen to all of them. So then you can pass an object and say, I want to, I want to listen to ev this event, but only for this object. If any other object triggers this similar notification, I don't care about it. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I want to use publisher because I want to use the operator, like the debounce operator mm. to achieve the throttle thing. That's why. I didn't use the add target uh, old way. Yeah. So, it, but it doesn't work because it doesn't emit the KVO event, the UI control. But if you're using notification center, it will work. You just need now to map this result because here, when there is an event, you will get the notification here. So you need to get the notification object and cast it <laughs> to your search text field, and you're interested in the text, right? Uh, yes. So we don't need this, and you are ignoring. We can even say compact map here. Yeah. If it's new, we ignore it, remove duplicates, and debounce. OK, so that's what you want, right? Uh, yes. One second. So as you're typing, it doesn't keep making hundreds of requests, right? 
Yes. Okay. I type of Bravo. Does it work? Oh, seems oh. working. Yes, but it didn't load the first time. Uh, because there's no change. Ah, it only. Okay, so the first one it would call the first time <laughs> with the current value of the search bar text field, but it wouldn't emit new values, right? The previous call, like this, using the publisher for text, it would emit the event for the current value when you subscribe to it, but you will never emit new values because there's no KVO support for it. I think here, can we stop a uh, initial value? Let's say something like start yeah, with. You could, or you could just call fetch more here. Right. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Or you could have a, an initial value. And you can merge these two signals, like with one with a predefined value and one that for every time it changes. Okay. Now we will call the first time and every time there's a change, it will also work. Okay, loading everything. Let's search for happy song. Boom. It works. It works. <laughs> It debounces as well. So as I'm typing, it's not calling the API hundreds, hundreds of times. That's great. <laughs> yes. So that's it. If you're using a UI control, you cannot listen to KVO events. Thus, you don't get the publisher for free. But if they provide notifications, this is one way you can do it and still get all the combined magic. <laughs>